M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Let's have a go at unbricking your Quashang UV K5, K6 radio. So you might have it in the cupboard, you loaded firmware and it just doesn't come on anymore. Or when it does, the screen just looks crazy. Well, I'm gonna show you a little trick, but there is a catch. You do need to have another Quashang UV K5 or K6 around. I don't guarantee this is gonna work, but it's worked a couple of times for me. Uh, and, uh, and I've bricked a few, um, uh, but this always seems to bring them back to life. I haven't got one radio here that does not work. So what you want to do is download this program here called K5 Program. It's not for the modified radio, just for your standard K5, K6. Click that and then download and run this program. It looks like this and just double click and just run it in the normal way. Probably need to extract it to a folder first and you get a shortcut that looks like this. Double click K5 programmer and you get this window. Okay. Now the good thing about the nice thing about the K5 programmer is that it allows you to make a backup of other radios. So what you would do is connect a radio that is working. So we're using my red and black one here as an example. And you just plug in the cable, find your COM port. So the cable's going in, it's the usual Bofeng cable. And then we're gonna click 16. How do we know which one our, you know, which COM port that we're gonna use is? We're gonna right click here, device manager, double click ports and we want to see our port number. It's just there, port number 16. So we know it's 16, let's just do that again. If you get an error, just close it and rerun it. You don't want an error to show here. Okay, so there it is there, COM16. So we want to just turn it on and off like so. And then we're gonna read, it says here, read configuration and read calibration. So we're reading the configuration and calibration of a different radio, and it's going to give us a file. Ta da And it will put the file, and you can save it somewhere. Okay, so we'll save it to, we'll go to desktop. Uh, I've called this file 1 of 11. Uh, doesn't really matter where you save it, as long as you don't lose it. We'll put it here where it says 111 and then save. And then we'll read the calibration next. And it's, it names it and you can sort of rename it and put the radio in that you wanna remember. Save. So we've got the calibration. So now you get the broken radio, okay? So that's just uh, config is com, just make sure we've done that. So we can turn it off and turn it on. Remember, this is the same radio, so I'm not gonna break this radio. <laughs> We hope. Um, and then now we're going to go right configuration. Go right, like so. And then go my, which one was it first? My config. Open. And it writes it. And if, I think if you choose the wrong one, it, it doesn't let you anyway. Like so. And now you go to right calibration. Choose calibration. And I, I will stress that this definitely will not work on all radios and your radio might still not function perfectly, but it might, it, I think it will, well, it, my experience is it's always brought my radio back to life, okay? So then you go right, now you turn it off, and hold down your PTT, turn it on, firmware mode, I mean, it might have already come back to life already, but if not, if it's still not coming back to life, you can then go right firmware, choose the firmware, and I've been doing the um, UVK5 for, Firmware here, firmware bin, and then open, and it writes the firmware in the normal way. And at the end of that, and you can make a backup at the end of this as well. So fingers crossed, you've got your radio back working. It might not be perfect, but it's better than being just chucked in the cupboard for, for spare parts. And there's nothing more frustrating than having a d the device, a device, that doesn't work, it doesn't matter what it costs you, whether it was 20 pound or 500 pound, 
it's equally annoying to have a radio that just doesn't work and you can see now that mine is now is working and um, I hope this helps you out of your bricked radio. 73 like subscribe join my channel please join my channel it's a pound a month buy my wife a coffee and um, that's your way of if I've helped you I get messages every day probably 50 messages a day maybe a hundred sometimes um, and many of them are thanking me thanks for helping me uh, well a way of showing how grateful you are is to buy me a coffee why not or join the channel because I'm not going anywhere I'm here for years and years and years and um, there's, there's one million percent you'll be looking for you'll need help on your radio and it'll be my video that helps you bye for now seven three catch your now all the best